Senate Democrats are proposing an emergency package to fix the Flint water crisis and uh, any other water emergencies around the country. So for those of you who don't know, uh, in Flint, Michigan, you have the Republican governor who made the decision to try to get water from a more risky source, the Flint River. Now, he was warned that uh, this might not be the best idea because it's a bad river, it's, 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 there's some corrosive stuff going on, you never know what's going to happen, but hey, you're going to save a couple million bucks, so you might as well risk the, the health and security of uh, all the people who you don't give a shit about. So they made the decision to do that. Now, mind you, at the same time they're doing that to save money, they're giving massive tax breaks to giant corporations that don't fucking need it. Okay, so this was a terrible decision. It was incompetent, it was corrupt, it was inept, and the list goes on and on. So as a result, what happened? Well, we know that the, the water eventually became poisoned, and it it's officially categorized as toxic waste right now because the lead levels are so high. Then there's also some questions about Legionella, so there's other things wrong with the water. I mean, it is an absolute... Shit show. It's horrific, and yes, you blame it on uh, the Republicans in Michigan. Now, the Democrats at the federal level step in and they go, okay, we got to do something to fix this. Emergency package, let's give them millions of dollars and, and we're going to get to a solution. Let's actually do the right thing here. So Huffington Post reports, the legislation would give states access to $100 million for loans to deal with drinking water emergencies, $70 million worth of credit subsidies for water infrastructure upgrades, and $50 million for public health efforts. Inhofe and other Republicans insisted the measure be paid for uh, by reprogramming $250 million in credit subsidies for fuel-efficient vehicle development. Okay, so in other words, we have a little bit of a Democratic ideology sprinkled in here, a little bit of Republican ideology. The Democrats are like, okay, we're going to help you fix this. Here's a few million bucks. And then the Republicans step in and they go, okay, cool, we're fine with that. We're totally on board with that, but let's just, you know, reallocate the money from something else. So cut somewhere else and send it there. Hey, so far, no problem here whatsoever. Even the Republican input isn't totally objectionable. Until. Now, all the Democrats are on board. Many of the Republicans are on board. All it takes is one senator to block this move. Who decided to block it? Ted Cruz. When uh, people reached out to his staffers, they said, yeah, we're looking into it. No, you're not looking into it. He blocked it. We know he blocked it. Ted, what are you doing? Like, this goes, in my mind, this goes far beyond politics now. You're just an immoral prick. I mean, that's what you are. You are what you do. Your actions define you. And you decided for political reasons, well, yeah, you know, I'm just going to block it. And why? Nobody knows. Hey, might have, uh, hey, we don't like the way that you're reallocating the money from energy to that. Will it fuck over the oil industry? Well, I don't know, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to step up and block it because government bad, big government bad. This guy is a fucking clown, man, and he's a dangerous clown. This reminds me of the non-filibuster filibuster that he did when it came to Obamacare. The Republicans had already tried over 50 times to repeal Obamacare, defund Obamacare, uh, take away certain parts of it, over 50 times. They weren't going to get it done. Why? Because you have the Democratic president is still in there. He's not going to sign away a repeal or a defund of one of his signature accomplishments. But Ted Cruz does a non-filibuster filibuster, holds up everything just to grandstand and, and fucking pump up his own ego and pretend like he's doing something for the people. Meanwhile, he's doing a non-filibuster filibuster to take health care away from people. And he thinks he's some kind of hero. He's up there reading Dr. Seuss books and shit. Ted, you're a joke. You're a clown. But again, now there, there's real human consequences to this, man. So the Republicans in, in Michigan fuck up the system, make it so that, you know, the, the water is toxic waste, and people get poisoned, and they're sick, and we have this national emergency on our hands. And then when the Democrats swoop in to save the day and, and try to fix it, the national Republicans, federal Republicans go, yeah, no, I'm going to block that. And he's running for president! So, hey, here's my question to all the reporters, all the journalists out there in the mainstream media who get access to these guys like Ted Cruz. You're going to hold him accountable for this, right? You're going to hold his feet to the fire. You're going to say, what are you doing, man? This isn't about politics. You got to... How can you block this 
when you know it's the right thing to do. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I won't hold my breath. How sad is that? I mean, let's reflect on that for a minute. We are almost all just resigned to the fact that the mainstream media and journalists and reporters are not going to question him and be tough on this, even though in a functioning country with a functioning media, that would be the first thing you do. In a world that made sense, you would see on CNN right now and on all the different news channels, breaking news across the bottom, Ted Cruz blocks a solution to the Flint water crisis. And then you'd have uh, people saying, this, here are the facts, the facts are unacceptable, blame him, it's his fault. But no, they won't do that. And then they'll portray this as, you know, some sort of bullshit false equivalence again. Well, the Democrats think it's a good idea. Ted Cruz doesn't think it's a good idea. So, you know, maybe it's debatable and we should just say that uh, they, they have differing opinions. Haha, <laughs> let's move on and go to a Clorox commercial. Fuck all of you. You're all an embarrassment, and Ted Cruz is the biggest one of all. This is damn near criminal, in my opinion.